Wowza, 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 wowza. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm trying to be a good, good person and stay ahead of the ball and not get in trouble with the law. <laughs> Holy crap, they got so many restrictions on car sales and that. Um, I guess now I've got to, uh, the, the gal's going to email me the link. If I have to become a registered dealer, I got to have a certain size building, I got to have a certain size office, I got to have 32 hours of operation, to have a business, make sure I'm zoned. So I still got to go, while well, I'm here at the courthouse, I want to go call, talk to the county. Make since we are zoned now to see if I can even do that. Otherwise, I might be limited on what I can do with my vehicles. Um, like, and then the cost, she says, well, if you do get a dealer's license, this is not dealer license renewal year. And I would have to pay for it twice. Fee $70 and the dealer plates each or $40 each. I'm like, really? So then she started talking, well, maybe you better be an auto recycler. All right, so I guess you can't just do anything anymore without having all these rules and regulations stuffed up your ass. But anyhow, so yep, let's go get, oh, I got to count money first. Okay. Okay, my head's even spinning more. Lucked out. Gal that I need to talk to at the courthouse. Wow, it's getting warm today. Order on clothes. Uh, she was there. So I was talking to her and that, and she's giving me building permits and everything. I said, so I got to treat it like I'm putting up a building. And she said, well, you're building out there on your farm. No, I said, I got buildings. Oh, well, she gave me some other paperwork. And uh, I guess I've got the zoning put stuff for junkyards, but I might be making them think of a new one on zoning for auto recyclers so and I'm not even sure I don't my head is spinning so bad on which way to go because auto recycling you're allowed 10 cars and I was counting up what I've already done I'm up to 12 or 13 vehicles I've dealt with now I'm like crap I'm not even sure if an auto recycler is going to be the way to go. So she says we might have to come up with some new things if you go on for that. But the dealer's option, in order to do that, I, that's going to cost me more money than uh, I can do because got to have an office, got to have a repair shop to be able to work on the cars that you're selling and be open 30 minimum of 32 hours a week. What happened to the simple days of just being able to find a hobby, be able to do it, buy and sell, and just... As years ago, I mean, I went through so many vehicles. Like I said, I had over 300 cars on the farm that I got rid of. I don't include the ones I traded and sold and uh, yeah I just cannot believe this so again here I'm just trying to do something to keep me from going insane make a little money and it's starting to sound like the state's going to get more money than me and I'd have to be open be able to be inspected at any time and oh, I really I really I just wow so we're on our way to the, get the transmission hopefully we get there before we either a run out of gas or maybe they close <laughs> oh. so I tell you money just they ain't going far enough. I got the RAC bill paid. That one don't have enough to go around to make the two house payments like I wanted to. Turn the phones on and took care of the registration so I wouldn't get any more penalties racked up on those. And crazy. 
crazy, crazy. But anyway, let's keep on moving. And it's already 11 o'clock. I've been up since 7.30 this morning, and I thought I'd be home by now. Ay, ay, ay. I think this video is going to be named Crazy Ass Freaking Day. I'll get down here, got the training, you know, that went all smooth. Unfortunately, we have not a clue how many miles are on the training because they couldn't get it to light up, but they said it's guaranteed. Don't worry about it, it's guaranteed. Okay. Well, then I stopped in to see the wife while the kid and the wife were working. And Okay, I got a message from uh, the school that my daughter's going to saying, you need to call and make arrangements by today or you're going to be kicked out of your classes. And we're like, what? I said, well, you better call and find out what the hell's going on. Well, she had scholarships in that. Turned them in. Nobody said anything. All of a sudden, she owes over $2,000 for her schooling. And they want a payment arrangement made and uh, at 10% down to make the payment arrangement. They want $200, which we don't have. Uh, something about some papers that haven't been filed correctly or something which now they're just telling us so my daughter might have to withdraw from her classes and restart doing her stuff in January unless she's lost all her scholarship money now I'm like what in the hell so and then the Monday is when we got to have squirrel down to the doctor I'm like, God dang it, money just don't go far enough. I'm like, so I got to either take one of these vehicles in for junk. I priced the van for 800 bucks. Somebody's kind of interested in that, so they're going to talk. I hope they come through and buy that. But uh, And this shit with the dealing with the cars and that, I don't, I'm just... They've, they're getting this country to where you can't do a dang thing without paying the government or doing something. So, nah, I just, it's we're losing our rights very fast. Pretty soon they're going to make us have permits to breathe. But, uh, well, I guess I'm going to go to the parts house and get the tranny fil filter in. Uh, fluid and front seal for this and the ga transfer case gasket so I'm like yeah and then I got thinking I took too much money out of my bank I gotta put some back because two things haven't come through that I just remembered and I'm like yeah but I shouldn't have got plates for vehicles but we can't keep paying the penalties on that either for not having the stuff done I mean that adds up fast just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know I guess it's becoming the you're not supposed to have things you're not supposed to end up having anything nowadays but uh, anyway let's go get those parts I gotta go uh, I'm just ranting Sorry for the wind noise, whoops, sorry for dumping you guys over, but all I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, God dang, what are we, we've been okay with money if we want to, if I want to went and bought groceries the other day, I'm like, God dang it, but we got to eat, but at the same time, I shouldn't have bought the damn groceries, I don't know. thinking there's two things I think I said two things I forgot about I gotta get money back into the bank oh my god crap I just now with this car stuff I'm like you gotta be kidding you're supposed to want to work to own stuff and take care of stuff and have things but at the same time, they're telling you, no, you can't have them. This is like the electric company's punishing you for uh, saving electricity. Oh, we're not making as much money because you guys ain't using as much as electricity, which we're, we're supposed to be doing. 
but these electric companies have gotten set and sp they're spending and spend too much so our usage goes down they raise the rates to keep the money coming in to cover what they already pre spent so what i kind of get back to wash and i shut some signs off i'm like why don't make any difference we're setting the house with one light on and a computer on it still costs the same freaking amount no matter what when we have the lights on and the, all the lights on in the house, it don't seem to change the price. But she just freaks out. I'm ready to freak out. I'm like, I, I, I just... Oh, but anyway. Yeah, if I'm on the way to the parts house to get the parts. That's 12.30. By the time I get home, it's going to be oh, 1, 2 o'clock. By the time I get done at the parts house and go home. But I have been forcing myself to not itch today because that shot did not help. Yeah, I, I, I've still got it. A couple of you asked if it's stress related. What stress? I ain't got no stress. I mean, kids about ready to be kicked out of college because they don't have the money when we thought that was all covered and uh, yeah I, I, uh, now I might be in trouble with the state for dealing with too many cars and I'm like really? Come on this just don't make any sense so I just uh, Okay, I'll shut up. I'll stop recording until I have something useful to say. Wow, I just realized I looked over and look at this cornfield. It's shredded, gone, and laid flat. That was standing corn just a few days ago. I forgot this is the area where that storm went through, and there was a house back there a little ways. Part of its roof's missing. And, uh,. I guess it's where that storm cut through. That cornfield. Now, okay, that cornfield there is pretty much shredded, gone. But this corn here, holy crap, here's where the highway was underwater. That's shredded, gone. You can tell the beans been shredded. And then, but yet this corn is shredded, but it's still standing. Just crazy on how Mother Nature works. So that's the section of the highway that was underwater the other night. So, whoops. So, yeah, I wondered why that house was missing part of its roof. Then I looked over, I'm like, oh, that's why. This is where that straight wind or tornado went through. So, yep, they're back there with, I can see back there, they're putting up power lines. So this was the area that was hit. Oh, here's another section. Wow, look at that, you can see, this is another section of the road that was under. Wow, I hope I got that. Wow. Those bean fields out there, they're stripped down. There's looks like it's just stock standing there. So there was a lot of hill down here. I feel sorry for these farmers. So well, I guess I did find a little of the storm damage app. Look at this field. You can see the ears of corn. They're just been stripped down. Glad we weren't driving in this that night. Holy cow. Anyway. You know what? I'm about ready to just take everything to the scrap iron. Iron Man, you want me to bring you some tools, trucks, and cars? I'll bring them up to you. I'll probably know another garnishment that's going to be going against us. Damn hospital bill. 1100 bucks. <laughs> we just don't have anything. And they're like, well, you ain't working with us, so we're going to have to advance it. Sit and spin. Get in line. I don't care. I, I'm i just... I'm just 
just done. I'm just done. to keep it together but I'm about ready to completely lose it. I I'm just just work with me. It's probably the second time I've heard from them. They ain't never sent any letters. Oh, we're gonna have to advance it. Thank you and hung up. <laughs> I just I figure out how I'm gonna have money to get the daughter to her doctor's appointment Monday now. Because after paying what I could today and getting gas here and there and having to eat so I don't pass out now, and I hate that function. It's good, I'm getting down to the normal range, but now I've got enough left to get the oil for this freaking project here. And I guess before this turns into a complete rant and everything I guess I'm gonna just call it a day for now. I'm just done. I mean these places you you haven't been able to send them any money but they always want a ridiculous amount. Fifty, hundred, two hundred dollars a month. Like I told them I said if I had fifty bucks I'd be buying groceries for the house. Just anyway, um, yeah. I guess I want to go talk to my cousin. All right. Oh yeah, I was going to tell you guys bye for the day. So I just hit the button I mean I can't even think I, I just I'm itchy very very frustrated today and I wish YouTube would take that dislike button and shove it up somebody's freaking rear end cuz there's no use in that but I see everybody's that does good videos and it just like always won so it's almost like YouTube's automatically putting one up for you in the first place. Uh, I mean, it's just... You don't like something, you don't have to make everybody know it. So, I mean... Yeah. It's all about the money and how many people go this way. Yeah, I'm ready to just freaking come unglued at the seams. I am just... If I had a mute thing for the mic, I would do it right now and I'd mouth everything I'd want to say. But anyway... I just want to go before I come on glued. I just... I know, take it to God in prayer. I've been doing that and it seems like it's been getting worse instead of better. Anyway, 
guys. Hopefully things are growing better for you than me. Alright.